In this video, we are about to talk about why your clothing brand is not working. We about to break it down for you because most of y'all already have the online store. Y'all have the product, but it's just not selling. So we about to help you out. We about to introduce you to what we've learned, what you need to change to be able to change the dynamic of your clothing brand. Let's get into this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nicholas Clark, co-owner and designer of World Envision. I'm Marlon, I'm co-owner and founder of World Envision. Hey, Ma, we, 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 we back in here. This is about to be a banger because me and Marlon, I know we've been, we've been separated for some time. Marlon been hopping on here. I've been hopping on here. But now we back sitting in the chairs all over again where it first started at. All right, where it first started at. We so y'all definitely going to love this one. We about, to, we about to get just straight into it. Because it make sure they like, subscribe to the channel. Now, hey, we can't, we can't, y'all, yeah, hey, we've been giving y'all hey, all these up. gems, so if you enjoying these videos, make sure you like, leave us a comment, all right? Leave us a comment. Don't forget, we got the 70K giveaway, and that's approaching pretty fast, all right? So we're going to be giving another lucky subscriber 100 free t-shirts, yep. all right? Yeah, and that's been going pretty well. I, I appreciate y'all so much. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end and let us know what you think about this video so you can enter that giveaway. Hey, roll to 70K, let's get it, all right? So first and foremost, uh, the thing that, that, that you need to make sure you're aware of is the numbers inside of your business because this is literally the make or break, all right? You do not want to make decisions off emotion. You want to make decisions based on the numbers, all right? The, you, I know you heard numbers don't lie. Yep. So when we say numbers, discuss a little bit more about the numbers, Marlon. All right. So just getting into numbers, the number one thing you need to know is cost of good. And, and let's write that down. So you, this might be an episode where you need to go grab a pencil and some paper, all right? Exactly. So the, the first thing that you need to know is your cost of goods, all right? And the cost of goods is how much your garments actually cost, all right? So you're going to have a T-shirt cost that's going to be associated with that. <laughs> you're going to have a print cost that's going to be associated with this. You may have a shipping cost. Ultimately, knowing how much it costs to actually produce a shirt so that way now you know the base cost of that shirt so a lot of people that's getting their brand started they go out they get those 12 shirts but they never they, they get those 12 shirts from the from the print shop but they never factor in like Let's just say we started to uh, sew those tags on those shirts, all yep. right? So that's one thing. We added that on to our own process, and we can say, okay, we just tagging these shirts on. Yep. But to tag those shirts on actually costs money. Yep. So, so for what I mean by that is we still have to pay for thread, all right? We still have to pay for time. We have to pay that. So we have to pay that team member or ourselves that's actually spending time sewing that on. So we have to actually factor that into our cost of goods, all right? Hey, so that, that's the thing that y'all not considering this time. And it's crazy because, like, we teaching y'all the stuff that we had the most problems with when we started our business. So y'all skipping a lot of steps right now. And with that, with that being said, it's like this. Everybody want to have a luxury or a quality brand, all right? And we was the same. We was the same type of people. And what I mean by that is this: when we started our brand, we was like, "Oh, we want the tag in the inside. Oh, we want the tag on the sleeve," and we wasn't even thinking about how much that would cost us in time. Yep. All right. So we had a tag in the inside of the shirt. We had a tag on the sleeve, and we was doing this all ourselves. So we wasn't using the manufacturer. Yep. All right, so y'all got it a little easy because y'all got manufacturers at this point. We never started with manufacturers, right? We was getting blank T-shirts. We were screen printing on the blank T-shirts. And tagging them. Also. And tagging them. So we was like, we want a custom inside tag. We want a custom sleeve tag. So we had to get the shirts, get the shirts printed, which was already a two-week process. Then we had to give the shirts to somebody else to, to, to sew those tags on, which was another two-week process. So it took four weeks to get the shirts. But on top of that, we still had to pay 2 $3 per shirt to get that tag yep so what we did was we like man we can't we can't for one we can't be waiting this long and for two we can't be spending all this money because now we got to charge 40 and 50 dollars for our shirt yep right so we took the inside tag out and just start screen printing our inside tag then from there we kept the sleeve tag on but immediately we were saying man we got to get this cost down so how do we do this yep. we bring it all in-house all right we really focus on this is how much we got to do in this certain amount of time and a lot of people don't think about that yep. and that's why we recommend learning how to play chess so you could become a better entrepreneur through playing that game because with chess you gotta know 10 moves ahead you gotta yep. be able to be ahead of the game because if not you're gonna lose yep. all right so in our business we learned that we like you gotta be 10 10 steps ahead of, of, of 
of every step of the way. Yep. Or you at least got to be thinking that, you know, that that far out. Because yep. people in their business, like, you, you probably watching this this this, brand, this, uh, this video, and I know we talked about not he pressing your shirt, but let's just say you he pressing your shirt. First thing people say when they he pressing the shirt, they're like, oh, it's cheaper. Um, or, or it's more affordable. It is... Uh, it's easy that because I can do it myself and I can make a lot of money. But what you're not factoring into your time. How much do you want to get paid per shirt that you do? Yep. So if you say I want to get paid ten dollars per shirt that you do, guess what? The cost of that good is now whatever you pay, whatever the cost of it is with that vinyl and whatever with the materials plus your ten dollar fee. Yep. And they never factor that in, and that's why you you you're not able to see your brand grow because you're not making the decisions based off the numbers. Yep. You making a decision based off how you feel, which Man, is that's crazy. Which is which is which is what's stopping you from building your brand, all yeah. right? In the piggyback off of what you said, because I think that a lot of them may miss that, even a game of chess. It's like iron sharpening iron. So when you playing chess, you're playing another person and y'all battling in the mind. Um, so that's similar to a lot of you guys. The, the reason why they brand can't grow is because they're not friendly competition in somebody else. And how you do that is that you get in that community and you get in that environment. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why people that that they have seen that that uh that we have connected with or watched these videos they become a part of our community exactly. now they're inside of the workshop now they're inside of the inner circle mm -hmm. they getting that knowledge directly from us so it's almost like we playing chess because we are trying to become that number one brand each and every day exactly and they're coming in that inner circle just as hungry too to become that number one brand each and every day so like us coming together, getting to collaborate. Oh, what worked for us right here? What worked for us right here? Oh, we won right here. Oh, we won right here. We're ultimately like getting better together. And that's why you have to put yourself in a position to be around other people that's trying to improve themselves. Definitely. So, because that go to part two right now. Because the reason why your brand isn't growing is because you're not improving yourself. And sometimes what we realize is that it's tough to improve yourself when you're not around somebody else that's improving mm -hmm. because you don't see what somebody that's winning do. So when you're not around winners, it's tough to like have that winner mentality because I'm pretty sure that, let's just talk about people that win the, the Golden State Warriors, their philosophy is different from the Detroit Pistons. Mm -hmm. And what I mean, like they come in, the, to, they come in probably every, everybody on time Everybody watching film more than the average. They probably work out during the summers with each other. They're doing everything to prepare for the championship that other people are not doing. And it's because if you get drafted to Golden State, you're lucky because now you got in that inner circle and you about to be around people exactly. that's already won championships and doing, thing at a, at doing things at a high level. So you will have a different you may have a different perspective on NBA basketball if you got drafted to Golden State rather than Detroit Pistons. Exactly. It, it, it's two different environments. It's, it's two different environments. And what's crazy is this. Uh, another thing, just going back to improving yourself, because uh, I watched a video earlier, and what it was saying was you got to start with the root. And what that means is this. All right, check this out. It's a lot of y'all out there that's like, man, how do I tweak this design? How do I tweak this ad? But really, you got to change yourself first so you can understand why something not working, all right? Because what, what I always say is I'd rather know why I failed than to be ignorant of how, of, of how I succeeded. So if I, if, I succeed, if, I make, if I make $10 million a day and I don't know how I made that $10 million, could I make that $10 million again? No. But if I lose $10 million a day and I know why I lost that $10 million, guess what? I ain't never going to lose $10 million ever again because I, because I know I'm, I'm knowledgeable about why something happened than me just waking up and it happened. You get what I mean? So you got to tweak the root instead of trying to tweak everything outside of that. So you trying to go change your Shopify theme, but really you should be reading Rich Dad Poor Dad or, or reading um, mm. the, the book Contagious or reading mm. you know, something to level yourself up. Because when you level yourself up, you're going to be able to level your business up. It's like uh, what I told you the other day. You know, everybody looking for a, a result from their business. But what they don't understand is they the person that's being inputted into the business to get the result. So uh, with that coin machine that I had said. So you know how when you go to Disney World and they got that Disney coin? But all you got to do is put the coin in and then start it. turning that wheel and then that coin come out. But... 
an, a coin will never come out if you never turn that wheel. If if a person never get up there and start turning that wheel around and around, yep. you get what I mean. So you yep. gotta start from you, and and when you start with you, you're gonna be able to produce better results with everything that you go out and do, such yep. as your clothing brand. Yep, and that's big. I, that's so big what you're saying right now because. A lot of people blame it on everything else. So think about this. What we're saying right now, if you're a one-man show, a one-man show, a lot of you guys watching this, like, your brand, you everything in your brand. You, we talk about this. you the designer, accountant, salesman, like, customer service rep. And, and, we trying to, and what we're saying right now, if you're not experiencing the results that you want to experience, it may, it's not your brand fault. It's not your brand fault. It's the lack of information that you have or a lack of execution on the information that you do have because you you probably watched 10 of these videos and you have we didn't gave you a blueprint at this point yep. but have you took the time to actually apply the information to your brand to get the results yep. because I'm pretty sure there's people on here that have applied information and and leave us in the comments like have these videos helped your brand like, let us know that let in the know. comments. And, let, or, or, and, 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 and if nobody let us know, we're going to have to stop these videos after we, this one right <laughs> This is going to be this gonna have to be the last video. All right. So if I, don't, if I don't see no comments about if our videos actually help you, on this video specifically, this might be the last one. Hey, and make sure you like, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, 70K, we're going to be giving a lucky subscriber 100 free t-shirts. All right. And the crazy thing now we're talking about, has this channel, like, helped you, like, because now what we see is like this channel has built a community like for us. And that goes into part number three on why your brand not growing is because you're not creating a community for your brand yep. and around your product. And what we mean by that is like every day we came to this office, we were in our apartment. The lifestyle of World Envision started there. Like we became models of the brand that we wanted to have and represent for people. So mm -hmm. we became the first the first spoke people and the first in brand ambassadors for our brand and we went out there and did the things in the community that we wanted to see or we went out and partnered with the people that we thought fit with our brand. Yep. So we brought our own community to us each and every time. And when you build in a community, you can't lose, all right? Yep. Like because like do, these people that's a part of our community now have literally seen us start from the ground, from the bottom floor, like from starting with those 12 shirts and $120. And now you have watched us throughout time create this multi-million dollar apparel empire. Some of you guys on YouTube watch the process because you could go to the first video that we made and you can go see us sitting on beanbag chairs. Mm -hmm. So like some of you guys watching this YouTube watch this video happened and we created that com that community through being transparent yep. and being ourselves true and being authentic mm -hmm. to our community all right and a lot of you guys are you know some of you guys brands are pretending to be something that you're not you know what I mean so you don't have to do that because there's a community for you and you have to be able to yep. reach that community and drive that community to be a part of your brand all right yeah and, and when and when you create community you create like an everlasting support system because bro one of our top customers literally spent sixteen thousand dollars with us yeah like there's person. other customers that spent ten thousand dollars with us there's customers that spend thousands and thousands of dollars on world envision apparel and that's what we mean by creating a community. You you create a lifestyle. You you really live, breathe, sleep, eat your brand. Yep. Like if you're not doing that, it's not gonna work. Like if you're gonna do something, do it big, or just don't do it at all. Yep. Like literally, just don't do it at all. Yep. Right. So you need to focus on building that brand, but make sure you build that brand. First, by building yourself, all right? Build yourself, put on for your brand, and you're going to have that brand that you want. Yep. All right, for all my people that's building a brand, I want you to join our free community, all right? So make sure you hit the link in the description and join our free Facebook group. It it better be over 200 requests after after yep. we drop this video. Yep, and, and, and I know not to even hit them because I think that, you know, the people watching this, they're like, Nick, we, we joined the community. We want a surprise. So I'm going to give him a surprise on here, and I hope, I hope Nick not mad at me. <laughs> we gonna, I'm going to make sure he put a link in here, and we're going to give you all a free course. 
I'm gonna give y'all a free course because if you watched it to this video, this part of the video, that means you serious about growing your brand, all right? And so we want people that's serious about growing their brand, we want them a part of our community. So what we gonna do for you is, we gonna give you a free course inside of here. So you probably gotta go check the link, go down in the description somewhere and find that free course right now, all right? Yep. Because you, you have to continue to get knowledge. You have to put yourself in that community. And just going yep. back to the last thing, Nick, now that they got this free course, there's going to be a lot of things that they're going to learn and they got to go do within their business. But sometimes people don't understand the testing phase, and that's the last part of why your brand not working. So can you explain what you mean by when now that I got information and I go apply it, how do I test? Bro, it, and it's crazy. So, like, before we even get to the testing, the first thing I do want to say is, like, you going to be at a certain point watching this video in your brand. And you're going to be at a different point than everybody else is watching this video. you at a different point than we at with our brand, right? And what we notice with watching books or gaining any type of information, you need a refresher at all times. So you watching this video once, you may need to go back and re-watch other videos as your brand get to, next, to another level because you're going to receive that information differently now. When you read the four agreements, do you get... The same information out of it from when you read it the first time? No. You get a whole different perspective because guess what? You became a whole nother person. Yep. So you getting the you getting the you getting to interpret you getting to explain what you just read from a whole different side of you or from a whole different new you. You get what I mean? So for my people that is watching these videos and is seeing some success, I want you to go back and watch all of the old videos because you're going to start to see even more success all right now let's get back to the testing part whenever you go out and take this information and you execute and you do something and you give it 24 48 hours and you say man i haven't got a sale yet tweak it and do something differently all right so you did it that one way but there's a million ways to do something mm -hmm. all right is 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 two plus two a equal four five minus one equal four two times two equal four you get what I mean? Yep. Five times two, that's ten minus six equal four. And, and where you hitting that is like, uh, let me and let me let me just sh take a shot at it. People will think they'll do a pop up shop and say my pop up shop was unsuccessful. But what you're saying is tweak something, and we may say let's tweak the location. Correct. Because maybe you maybe you did a pop up shop in a bad location. Correct. It it wasn't even that you did the pop up shop. That's the problem. It was the location that was the problem. And then look, when you tweak something and then it works, don't take it away. Just add on to it. All right. So it's like with us, like when we create, when we when we when we got into manufacturing, we ain't just drop screen printed t shirts and say, and just say we not screen printing no more. We still do both because that was already what was working for our business. Yep. Why would we stop screen printing to go directly to a manufacturer when we was already doing something that was working? We should be able to go to the manufacturer and 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 produce twice as, as, as results as we was producing with the t-shirts. But don't take that away because then that's going to take, take away a revenue stream from your business. Yep. So whenever you find something that's not working, learn why it don't work. Try things to make it work. When you find a thing that is working, add to it. Right? Add more things. Keep testing. Keep testing. Oh, this work. Not combine that with the thing that was already working. Yep. Right? And that's how you start to scale your business, right? That's how you start to scale your business and document the process. Like, literally document right the there. process. Keep all of this data. Record yourself. Why are you taking, you know, why are you starting your brand? Because you're going to be able to go back and you're going to be able to learn from all of that. Everything. Is 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 literally a, a, a everlasting process of developing yourself, which ultimately you're not only gonna create this one successful company, but you're gonna create multiple successful companies. Yep. Because you transforming yourself, which yep. is bigger than you even building a multi-million dollar business. Because guess what? Like I said at the beginning, if you learn how to make something work once, you're gonna learn how to be able to make something work twice, three times, four times, five times after that. You when you build one million dollar business, you think it stops there? If you know how you built that multi million dollar business, you're gonna be able to build multiple multi million dollar business. Yep. I, I hope I hope I hope they like this one. Hey, we uh, this was we just gave y'all everything on why your brand is not working, and basically what we're saying is is it's not your brand fault. It's not your brand fault. It's 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 your fault. As hard as it may be, it is. And and when we we say is. 
we can't give nothing else the power. So when you go out and you say that, oh, nobody not supporting my brand, uh, I, I, this person was supposed to help me, that's not why, you, that's, that's, the, that's the exact reason why your brand is not growing. Because that, the number one thing was we wanted to put everything in our hands and say that we, if, if we're not making that sale, it's because we didn't make that sale and we didn't put ourselves in position to make that sale. Exactly. So it's a total mind switch that you're going to have. And that the mind switch happens today. All right. So today we switch your mind. Today you're going to keep leveling up. You got the free course. Go ahead on and check the link in the description. Like this video. Comment. All right. Run us up. All right. Make sure you... Make sure you're ready, man. Make sure you're ready because we're going to be giving a lucky subscriber 100 free t-shirts when we get to 70K. And we just want to say thank y'all. And I guess before I leave, I guess I could do a word of the week. Word of the week. Word of the week. Let's go numbers. Knowing your numbers, all right? Because that's going to be very, very important. Bare minimum, knowing how much the cost of your merchandise costs. At cost. Because now that allows you to know... How much room do you act when you sell it? How much profit do you actually have? Now that you know how much profit you actually have, let's start thinking about how much of that can we allocate to the marketing budget. So you have to know your numbers because that's how you're gonna make the best decisions for your brand and for your business. I'm Marlon Wise Cohen, the CEO of World Envision, hey, and we are crazy. See y'all in the next video.